Hi, welcome to my channel Black Sheep Logic. This is a Weller WD-2M and this is a WXD2. Both of these are Weller soldering stations. There are some unique differences between the two. One may be better suited in one application, one may be better suited in another application. I'm going to talk about these two stations and my use of these two stations on my benches. The older station is Weller's WD-2M. This is a dual channel soldering station, maximum power output of 160 watt. So with 160 watts, you can use a single 120 watt iron, or you could use up to two 80 watt soldering hand pieces. Typically with the WT2M, I'm using the micro tools, which I think from memory are 40 watts a piece. The WXD2 is also dual channel, and it has a total power output of 240 watts. With 240 watts available, I could run a single 200 watt iron, or I could run two 120 watt iron simultaneously. A 200 watt iron is a big iron. I don't even own a 200 watt iron. I really have no use for 200 watt iron, but I do sometimes want to use 120 watt iron, and being able to run two of those simultaneously is very convenient. An example why I might want to do that is I may be using a 120 watt desoldering handpiece along with a 120 watt iron. Typically on this station, however, I'm using a 65 watt iron. Both of these soldering stations support Weller's micro tools. There is a slightly cheaper version of the Weller WD2 station available, but it does not support the micro tools and it does not have a USB interface. You'll also note I have purchased both of these stations in their two channel configuration. And the reason for that, at least on my benches, my benches are very cramped and small and I'm looking to maximize the use of my bench space. With a two channel station, I've got the same footprint as a single channel station, but I have twice the capacity. With modern PCBs and the density of some of the components on those boards, it is very convenient to have the option of using two irons. A good example where I use two irons all the time is when I'm using the micro tools. I like the SMD tweezers, I also like the iron. So on my WD station, typically I will have the micro pencil and the micro tweezers on all the time. Another application where I find two hand pieces really helpful is when I'm using the desoldering tool on the WXD2. That hand piece is 120 watts and I will typically also have my 65 watt iron on at the same time. One key consideration when trying to choose between these two soldering stations is compatibility. The WD platform supports all of Weller's older hand pieces, so you have a much greater selection of hand pieces. It's also more likely you'll find some of those tools used, which can save quite a bit in cost as the Weller hand pieces are really quite expensive. With the WX platform, none of the older hand pieces will actually work on that platform. So you require all new hand pieces if you upgrade to the WX platform. There's two reasons for that. One, well I changed the plug on the end of the irons. And the second reason is that they chipped the irons, made them WX specific. So even if you went to the effort of changing the plug to make them plug compatible, the WX station would refuse to recognize as irons. Something that I really like on the WX platform are the ability to set presets based in the handset. The WX platform recognizes the handpiece plugged into each of the channels and it will use a different set of presets for each of those handpieces. I find this a really useful feature because, for example, if I'm using micro tools which are running at a much higher temperature than my standard irons, I want my presets to reflect that. I also want to turn off my micro tools when they're not in use, while on a standard handpiece, I may want to use a set back temperature rather than to actually turn off the handpiece itself. With a micro tool, it takes a couple of seconds for the tip to regain temperature. With a standard handpiece, it's 20 to 30 seconds, so it's very convenient being able to use handpiece specific presets. I don't have the ability on the WD station to say here's my presets when I'm using the micro tools and here's my presets when I'm using a standard iron. So typically I use my WD station exclusively for my micro tools therefore. In terms of the user interface, 
I actually really like the user interface on the WD. It's got raised buttons that I can easily find in press. It's also got an up and down temperature control based on the channel that I have selected. The WX station uses a new user interface that's touch sensitive. The touch sensitive buttons don't always register. The jog dial to set the iron temperature is a very frustrating process. Typically when I'm configuring either of these stations I like to use the included software. With the WD platform that means plugging in the USB cable and connecting directly to the PC, running the software and configuring the station. With the WX platform I don't need to connect the WX station to the PC. The software running on the PC allows me to create parameter files on a USB stick which I can then download into the WX station. I think that is a really good feature that they implemented. Another feature with the WX platform is the serial port that can be used to control other Weller accessories like a board preheater. If I'm using a board preheater I find it's just as easy to set the temperature on the board preheater as it would be to set the temperature on the soldering station. In my opinion there is no clear winner between the WD and the WX station. Both of these stations are very capable and I don't think you would be disappointed with either of these stations in terms of its performance and its ability to do the job. I've not been disappointed with either of these. I think the major difference is the compatibility between the hand pieces. If you have existing hand pieces I think it makes sense to purchase the WD soldering station as it will cut down on your initial investment. If you don't have any hand pieces I don't think it makes that much of a difference unless you're looking to purchase hand pieces on the second hand market. The WX station feels to have a slightly better build quality over the WD station but I think it's marginal and I've honestly had no problems with my WD station over the number of years that I've owned that particular station. If you like this review I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.